Hi everyone, I am Shreya. I am a 3D designer in Clo India office. In this workshop, I will be explaining everything about creating a product packaging inside Clo. I will be showing you how to fold the pattern to make the package and how to assign the fabric for creating the proper shape and we will also customize the material and graphic layout. During the workshop, you can ask any questions in the live chat on the side. To start with, I am going to import the layout design of the package. Make sure to check the option to auto trace internal lines. Internal lines would help us to fold the package. Once the pattern is ready here, we can lay the pattern flat on the ground using the gizmo tool. Now, let's fold this to make a box shape using the fold arrangement tool in the 3D window. And we can just click on the internal line and start folding it. Also be mindful of the right and wrong side of the pattern or material while folding it. Here I would do flip normal to reverse the sides so that once the package is folded, the right side of the pattern would be on the outside part of the package. And let's fold the other sides also one by one. Once the folding is done, we can start sewing to secure the shape. You can use the help of 3D window to see how you are sewing it. Let's fold the side of it too. Now I will select all the internal lines here and change the fold angles to 90 degree. And then I will make the pattern material stiffer by changing the physical property of the fabric to trim hardware. Once that is complete, I am going to change the particle distance from 20 to 5 and additional thickness collision to 1 in the property editor to refine the pattern. Now before simulating it, I will also strengthen the pattern Now if you look closer, you can see the folded area doesn't look that smooth. So I will change the mesh type to quad in the property editor. The next step would be to fold the sides or flaps of the package. I will use the help of fold 3D arrangement tool here. Once that is done, I will secure the flap with sewing. You can check the direction of the sewing in the 3D window while sewing it. And after that, I will change the fold angles of the internal lines to 90 again. Here we are ready to simulate it. Once it's simulated, you can see the puffiness where you have sewn it. So to change that, I will select that sewing and change the sewing line type to turned. Now let's see the inside view of the package. I'm going to unstrengthen it for a better view. You can see the flap edges are not closed here. So I will stick the flap edges to the sides of the package. I'll use the tag tool for attaching the flap. Let's attach all the sides. After that, I am going to strengthen the box. I prefer keeping the box strengthened while working. 
it helps to keep the material stiff. As you can see, we have the basic package ready. Now as per your design, you can customize the package too. I'm going to stylize this design by adding a see-through material on the front side. For that, I will add an internal shape of a particular measurement and place it on the front side. Once I'm satisfied with the placement, I'm going to do cut and sew here. And I'll create a different fabric here for the new pattern. Make sure the physical property of the new fabric is trim hardware. Now let's customize the fabrics. I'm going to change the colors of both the fabrics. And assign the second fabric to the cut and sewn pattern. After that, I'm going to change the opacity to 15 to make it transparent. Now I'm going to view the package from all the sides so that you can use our 3D tool called Fold 3D Arrangement. You can flip the package to see the other sides as well. When you click on the Fold 3D garment, you will receive a pop-up box where you will be able to flip and rotate the box in the 3D window. Once that is done, I am going to bring a car OBJ which is my product here. After that, I will use Gizmo tool to adjust the placement of the car. Now that I complete the process, I will go to the render window and view how it looks there. In the property editor, you can change the render settings. I have made the background transparent here. I will also change the orientation of the image to landscape. Now to customize it further, I am going to change the material type of the package to shiny. You can see the shiny effect in real time. I will change it to plastic now. You can choose whichever material type you want from the drop down menu. And see how it's looking in the interactive window. Now I will change the material type to metal. Even after changing it, you can customize the effect in the property editor. You can adjust reflection intensity, metalness, etc. in the property editor and create the look you want. If you want to add a graphic layout on the package, that can also be done easily. For my convenience to apply graphics, I have rotated the pattern. And now, all you need is the graphics in the form of PNG, AI, etc. And using Add Graphics option, you can import the graphics and place it on the pattern. After that, I will adjust the size in the property editor under the option Graphic Transformation. Then you can adjust the placement with the graphic transform tool. Now 
Now I will customize the color and the material type. I will also change the reflection intensity. And then you can do the final render settings like background color, light, etc. as per your wish. And you can customize your render settings to achieve the final look. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this workshop and you were able to gain some new knowledge as well.